yeah, so I'm taking a little time out today to do a tiny bit of sketching. This is one of the pith sketchbooks that I've been sent for review. I'm going to do a roundup of these at some point. I love the way they're bound. It's really interesting. The um, I'm not quite sure what that term is. But you can see there's no sort of cover on the spine of the of the book. Very pretty books. And they do lay very flat, as you can see. Um, because obviously there's nothing there to get in the way. But yeah, they're very nice. And I've been doing some some small bits and bobs in it already. Um, this is a little um, shop break we went on and there's some sketching in there. Oxford roofs and a little boat on the river. I do like little boats. I wasn't so keen on that, but it was an experiment. Uh, another Oxford Street, just a bit of play with cross hatching. Um, yeah, and then, and then uh, a little courtyard. We went to a Pizza Express here and had a really nice pizza, actually. I was a bit sceptical, a bit sniffy, but it was very good. And this is just something notes I've done for some upcoming upcoming YouTube tutorials. And that will be on my Patreon too. Um, sort of doodles, things like that, drawing exercises, use of text, um, tiny figures, things like that. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to do a little drawing in here today. I might do some boats. It's been ages since I've drawn some boats. And I do like drawing boats. So if I pop the reference drawing up there, it's uh, from Unsplash. It's a free download one by Trevor Pye. Uh, and it's a picture of staves. So what I've done is I've taken a slice of it. And I'm going to put that slice on this side and then I'm going to draw on this side. And I'm going to have this one nice and loosey-goosey. I'm not here for uh, a long time. I'm here for a good time. So I'm not going to be too worried or critical about my lines. You know, I know I preach this a lot. I'm going to go in with pen. I think if you do this regularly, it's good for building confidence. And it certainly does uh, allow you to be a little bit less self-critical because you just have to roll with the mistakes. Like I said before, I'm really not being too, uh, too worried about getting all the forms in the right place or being overly critical. Now, I think this must be the back of the boat because this I can see the pintles, which is what you hang the rudder on, on the back there. Um, and they're a very specific shape, these traditional northeast boats. They're called cobbles. And this one is, because it's pointy at both ends, it's called a double ender. I think I might have mentioned that previously in some video somewhere. Um, And there is some that have flat transoms at the back, like this boat here. But these ones specifically are called double enders. Now, I think the reason why they have this very specific design is because they're kind of evolved for being used in like salmon fishing uh, and netting. So the boats, are, you're generally, as you're recovering a a net, you're going to be pulling the boat backwards and forwards. splashy right so I'm going to dry that off this is masking fluid that I'm using here uh, the blue stuff from SAA artists blue masking fluid I'm gonna have a go with this Artify mop brush so if you look at the image you can see that if you zoom out a little bit you can see that there's a sort of blue area on the left hand side here. Now this was what 
attracted me to actually pulling the image across because you've got this fantastic watercolor. Hopefully you can see that in this. And one thing that watercolor is really good at is um, transitioning from one color to another. So now in this image, you can see that up here, there's gonna be some blue and down here, it's gonna transition into a sort of light brown. So this sort of transition is great. So the question is now, what color do I put in first? Well, I think it's gonna be a that white reflection on the screen and I'm thinking I'm basically painting in that white reflection using this masking fluid and that's going to take me again I'm not being too precious that's going to take me all the way up uh, to the front here So of course we've got this um, bank that runs this way, but I'm not going to bother about that. I'm just going to start and just work across. Now I need to try and avoid the boats. I need to try and avoid those um, posts. So that's not really going to be that easy. In an ideal world, I guess I could use masking fluid on, on all, all the boats and stuff like that, but I think that would be probably a bit too much hassle. Or would it be? I don't know. No, I'm not going to bother. So because I want a nice wash, I'm going to just lift the bottom of the book up I've put a pen under there and that'll hopefully mean that I can the wash will come down I'm going to use this mop brush actually and then I might finish with the uh No, you could say, well, why use white gel pen? Well, I enjoy it. It's as simple as that. I like highlights and stuff. When I used to be a, a um, product designer, one of the last things you'd do when you were doing a rendering is put some little highlight bits on stuff. 
and I also think it it always just adds a little pop to some of the um, some of the bits of the the drawing I think another thing you can use it for is when you have lines like here if you look these lines are coming together and I just want to push them apart a little bit you can also add in some details like I'm going to add in some ropes break up some shapes by adding a few little dots here I'm going to move those watercolors out of the way with that massive pool of greeny sludge that I decided to mix up bit of an overkill right so this paintwork is there's some slightly glossy areas that I can pull out maybe sort of suggest little patches of sun reflecting off the paintwork um, okay there's a line there that I don't actually necessarily want Tidy up that a little bit. And also, you can obviously add in some white highlights into the break up some of these spaces if you want to. No, it doesn't need that in there. Add in some extra bits. Well, that's fine. The last thing I'm going to do now is add in some of these lines because there is lines running everywhere to these boats from these posts. And I think that will kind of tie everything together. So even though I've actually got a line in there, I'm going to replace that one like that. Okay, I'm even going to put a line in from over here. There we go. Is use this white space I've left here. And I'm going to put... Uh, Boats and then a slightly more condensed font. I'm going to put North North Yorkshire. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's a little bit, I was going to say it's a bit different. It's not, it's just more of the same, isn't it? <laughs> Fun though. So it's been ages since I've drawn a boat. Now one of the things I really wanted to point out here just to finish this is, I hope you can see that, you see that line going up there? Does that matter? Not really. Uh, you see some of this reflection down here isn't very cohesive. Doesn't matter. No. There's some blooming happening. That is a mess in there doesn't matter no um some of these lines don't make a lot of sense does it matter not a bit these bits here uh it doesn't that wash wasn't flat and you can see where it's bloomed here and here here there does that matter nope okay so let's uh, have a look at the back of the sketchboard you can see where it's come through that green does that matter no here I've actually managed to splash the green across here and it's gone right down the spine of the book. Does that matter? No. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Uh, I've had a drawing, I've had a very I had a drawing, I've done a drawing, I've had a very pleasant hour doing it. I've got a chance to talk with you. And uh, now I better go and do some parenting before my son walks out and the dog kills me. Okay. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. <music>